Hello, this is a video on how to replace the hard disk in an HP 255G7 laptop, otherwise known as product ID 6BN15EA and then hash or a pound sign ABU. To do this, you do need to undo screws which are underneath the sticky feet on the laptop. So if you're precious about your laptop and are worried that it might reduce its um, the stickiness of the feet on the underside of the laptop, you may want to have double-sided tape or some other thing to re-stick them down with. I, for the ones I've done, feel like that just sticking them back down is good enough. They've got enough uh, remaining adhesive to not be a problem. But it's just one thing to be aware of before you start this because... Um, some people might get a little bit upset about having to peel away stickers or uh, feet on the underside of the laptop. Uh, it definitely takes quite a while. It's probably going to be at least 15 minutes of taking it to bits, replacing the hard disk and putting it back in. Um, and yeah, here goes. So first, turn the machine over so you can see all the screws on the underside. And undo the four obvious and visible screws. So there's one at the front of the machine on the curved bevel, which you can see me unscrewing, which is closest to the camera. There are two at the edges, and then there's one which holds in the CD drive, which is just above the sticker which has the serial number on it and the model number. Those are the easy ones, now we get on to the ones which are underneath the sticky feet on the laptop. So on the runner which is closest to the camera, there are three. There is a screw at each end. And then one screw which is not quite in the middle. Then moving on to the feet at the back of the machine, or the one which is closest to where I'm sitting, there are four screws underneath that entire runner, and again, uh, one at each end, and then two in the middle, so you essentially have to pull up pretty much all of that foot on the laptop. So here we are pulling up the uh, adhesive to get to one of uh, the third screw out of the four. And then starting from the other end so that you at least leave some of the sticky strip down. 
get to the fourth screw. This one was quite a bit difficult to get out of the recess which the screw was in, so you'll see that I had to use a, the spatula that I was using to put some pressure on it so I could get it up and out of the hole that it was in. Take out the CD drive. Now take a very thin knife, something that will tr not damage the plastic of the machine. If you don't have a spatula like I have in the video, I've found that taking an old credit card and rubbing it against some concrete or some brick to give it a tapered edge works quite well and doesn't seem to mark the plastic on the laptop. So just be careful. If you try to use, say, a normal flat-bladed screwdriver, you'll probably end up with gouge marks in the, in the case of the laptop. So again, if you're precious about how your laptop looks and doesn't have marks on it, make sure that you have the right tool to pry up the edges of the laptop. So around the entirety of the laptop, so along the front and to the left and to the right of the keyboard, you need to slide something fairly large, uh, fairly broad but very thin down to undo the clips which hold the underside cover on. Then when you get to the corners where the screen is, it's the most difficult part of the case to undo. And you definitely want to do it via this method because if you turn the laptop over and just try and get the cover off, those corners seem to have quite strong clips and it's very difficult just to use brute force to undo those clips. So uh, definitely in the corners near where the screen is, where I'm undoing right now, do it with the tool rather than trying to just rip the cover off. So once you've undone all of those clips, you then turn the machine over. and the cover should just lift off. Now the hard disk you can see is in the corner closest to where I'm sitting and it literally kind of lifts slightly up out of the two pins which it's resting on where my hand, uh, my, le my left hand is, so on the right hand of the video it just lifts up slightly, not massively because it will break the connector on the board and then it slide, the drive just slides out uh, off on the video off to the right or as I'm sitting it slides out off to the left there are two screws holding that metal bracket onto the old hard disk and undo those and then just reattach the metal bracket onto your new hard disk or your new SSD. and then slide the SSD back in and drop it back down onto the mounting pins on the board which hold it in place. Put the cover back on and then make sure you press down around every edge to 
click it all back into place. And then once you've done that, it's a good idea to open the machine and then press around all of the edges as well, because just putting pressure on it from the underside of the case, it often isn't enough to clip down all of the clips. So open up the screen and just go around the entire edge of the keyboard and the edge um, uh, uh, near the screen, just pushing the cover back on and making sure it's all uh, flat and clicked back into place. And then it's time to put the CD drive back and all the screws back. Bearing in mind the screw which I had just done is the one which holds the CD drive in place. So if you accidentally put that screw in the middle uh, back in before putting the CD drive in, you'll find that the CD drive won't slide into the slot fully. And now we're on to the screws which are underneath the rubber feet. So again, you have to pry them back up and drop the screws back in and screw them in. And those final four screws under the last uh, feet of the machine, and you're done. If this video has been useful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notification bell switched on, but the subscription numbers really do help. Um, I hope you've found this useful, and uh, good luck upgrading your hard disk.